through a junction where Spencer was waiting. Blistery boilers. And into some potato cars. To a flatbed of jelly bags. And landed all over Thomas. Ahead, Thomas could see a thick wall of bushes. Fenders and funnels, how can I stop? With a scrunch and a crunch, Thomas crashed into the bushes and came to a stop. Flaming fireboxes. My island is a long, long way away. There are mountains and snow and sea. There are lots of railways. I was the strongest engine at home. I was called Master of the Railway. How did you get to Sodor? I came in a very big ship. The journey lasted many days and we sailed many seas. When I arrived at the docks, it didn't look at all like home. What was Sodor like then? It was very quiet. I was the only engine on Sodor. They called me Master of the Railway here too. I was very happy. What happened? Good morning, Spencer. Well done. Uh, what did you say? I said, good morning, and well done. I... I... Do you have a job to do, Spencer? Or are you just going to stand here gossiping? You're taking up a lot of track. Spencer was shocked. No one speaks to me like that. Then Spencer slid away, sneering. I want to dare you. Why are you working on Thomas's branch line? Because, as I said, Thomas is a busy engine. Where is he busy? You're a big, strong engine, Spencer. Why don't you go and look? Spencer! What an honor. Let me take you around the quarry. <laughs> <laughs> he chuffed too quickly. Then, too slowly. Then he rolled back too far. Slate and dust flew down his funnel and bounced off his boiler. <laughs> they, they have a very old engine, a, a heap of scrap, in fact. I was chasing it because, in fact, Sir Topham, you should please, Spencer, stop. Chasing engines that are a heap of scrap? Of course, sir. Anything for you. I will do my very, very best. We all will. Sorry, boss! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Very slippy hook. So I see. <laughs> sir Topham Hatt played hide-and-seek for a long time. He was very happy. So were the children. Yes, Thomas, but I'm not Sir Topham Hat. I'm Sir Loam Hat, Sir Topham's brother. Oh no, Loam. Have you been up to your old tricks again? Absolutely right, Topham. I've been having a wonderful time with Thomas. Sir Topham Hat didn't think this was funny at all. Loam, you have caused confusion and delay. We must hurry. Kevin, let's see what we have for our good friend Thomas. Yes, boss! Coming right up! Sorry, boss. It was a slip of the hook. Oh, Kevin. Oh, oh. Suffering Sodor, Kevin. What are you doing? Sorry, boss. It was a slip of the hook. Yes, we know, Kevin. We know. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Thomas. It was a slip of the hook. I know, Kevin. I know. Oh. The car skidded and skated right into a muddy ditch. and splashed onto the road. Sir Topham Hatt's car skidded and skated right into a haystack. Sir Topham Hatt's car skidded and skated right into a pond. <gasps> Miss Buddy, it is an honor to have you visit our steamworks. Kevin! Sorry, boss. Aw, oh, that little piglet is looking at me. I think I'll call him Thomas. Thomas was so happy. His axles tingled and his boiler bubbled. Whoa! Sin 
there's an ashes. The freight cars bounced high in the air. They crashed and bashed. They clattered and shattered down to the tracks. The books flew high and wide through the air and landed all over Farmer McCall's field. Hello, Toby. That's a three-time steam whistle. I used to have one of those. This made Toby even more worried. Is it a good whistle? It's the best. It is the loudest whistle in the whole of Sodor. It was the loudest whistle anyone had ever heard on Sodor. What was that? It was a three-chime steam whistle. They're the best whistles ever. I wonder who blew that. Fizzling fireboxes. What was that? Edward had crashed straight into the flatbed of flowers. Bubbling boilers. What was that? Cinders and ashes. Bust my buffers. But what about Henry's coal and Spencer on the hoist? He hit a big green button. That made Spencer shudder into the air. Trembling tracks, what's happening? Kevin gasped. <gasps> Heaving hooks! Sorry, Spencer! Then Kevin dropped Henry's coal right in front of Henry's nose. Bust my boiler and crashing coals! Kevin rocked and rolled into James. Mind my shiny red paintwork. James was so upset, he blew the biggest puff of steam he had ever blown. <gasps> Sizzling sodor. What has happened to my beautiful steamworks? Here I come, Charlie. Swish, swish, push. <laughs> Bust my buffers. That's a good game. Here I come, Emily! <laughs> Here I come, James! Splash! 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 <laughs> splash! 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 Then there was trouble. Muddy water flew high into the air and splooshed down all over Alicia Botti and Sir Topham Hatt. Slushy snow sprayed from his wheels. Rattle my rods! I'm as dirty as a ditch! The snow flew up all over Gordon's face. Bubbling boilers! I can't see! Gordon rattled off the main track and into a siding, straight into the back of some slate cars. The giant snowball rolled down the track and crashed and bashed into Thomas. Gordon saw Thomas and his car of firewood lifted high in the air and derailed. They scattered and clattered into the apple crates. The apples rolled everywhere. Henry tooted a loud goodbye. Then there was trouble. A colorful bird flapped and flew from a tree high into the sky and away. It was the Sodor Warbler. The visitors moaned and groaned. What are you staring at, Hero? Nothing, sir. Just your hut, sir. Excuse me. There was trouble. I will help you, Percy. Hero blew his whistle. It sounded like a duck quacking. The ducks flapped and flew into their crates. Thank you, Hero. Thomas's boiler bubbled bravely. I'm Thomas. Who are you? The engines chuffed cheekily. I'm Bash. I'm Dash. And I'm Ferdinand. The two smaller engines wheezed and teased, puffed and popped, and threw Thomas's flatbed into the logging pond. Logs flew. They crashed and bashed into Thomas's boiler. The logging locos cackled and crackled with laughter. You're next to take a dip. Oh, you're no fun. Welcome to our Misty Island friends. Sorry, boss. 
<laughs> Hello, my name's Kevin. Just give me a call. Whatever you need, I'll take care of it all. <laughs> but I'll never find another Thomas. Thomas smiled from bumper to buffer. That's right! And everyone giggled and jiggled. <laughs> James had to screech into a siding. His wheels whirred, and he bumped into the buffers. Luckily, no one was hurt, but James was cross. Edward and Charlie clickety-clacked along the bumpiest tracks. They jiggled and joggled, and they bumped and they jumped. Wee hee hee This is fun! There was Sir Topham Hatt's car with a funnel on its roof. It's a fun funnel! Edward gasped and raced back out of the woods, straight into the six freight cars Thomas and James had shunted. Toby felt terrible. One morning, Henry was huffing happily. He clickety-clacked around a bend straight into an old freight car. Flatten my funnel. Who left that there? I never have pretty pink piglets to deliver. I am never clapped and cheered. That's because you are a diesel. They were waiting for Emily. Emily was coming to pick up the cakes for the picnic. Isn't this the funniest noise you've heard? Popping corks hit the bakers oh. and the cakes. Oh. Bounced off his shiny red paint. Flatten my funnel. What was that? Then there was trouble. The popping corks hit the signalman. He was so surprised, he pulled the wrong lever. The tracks changed. James was sent into a siding. James bumped the buffers. Luckily, no one was hurt. A very last cork popped and knocked Sir Topham Hatt's hat right off his head. Their pistons popped. Their traction rods rattled. And then they must go to the steamworks to be fixed. What about my blocked valves? Then there was trouble. Black smoke and soot shot from Gordon's valves all over Sir Topham Hatt, who had just arrived in his bright blue car. Suddenly, Sir Topham Hatt's car wasn't bright blue anymore. It was black and sooty. <coughs> Heaving hooks! Was that meant to happen, boss? No, it was not. One, two, three, push! The coal cars bashed and biffed together. They juddered and jumped. Coal dust scattered and splattered everywhere. Cranky was lowering Ferdinand onto the deck of a mighty steamship. Ferdinand wasn't happy. This is not right. That's right, boss. Boss? Sir Topham Hat! And whirled and hurled logs everywhere. Logs bounced off Edward. Blistering boilers! And flew past Thomas. Cinders and ashes! But Hee Haw had run out of oil. It spluttered and stuttered. Thick black smoke all over James and Sir Topham Hat. Pumping pistons, what a pun! This is the pungiest place I've ever puffed to. Which pungy engine is in charge here? Gordon gasped and Gordon gulped. He hardly dared puff. 
I've left the Duke and Duchess's garbage to pong with all the rest. <laughs> Withy woo, what a mess! This must be the stinkiest spot on Sodor! Gordon shuddered and shuddered. Ugh, only stinky steamies work here. Smells and bells. Only a stinky steamy could leave all these stinky freight cars here. And through the hollow tree tunnel. Then he heard Dowager Hat clapping and cheering. Hooray! Football. What thrills and spills, what jokes and jips, <laughs> what jitters and flitters, <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Dowager Hat was as thrilled as could be. Shake, shake, make me quake, make me quake until I shake! <laughs> then, suddenly from the shadows, with a bump and a bang, and a clatter and a clang rattled two diesels Percy had never seen before. Hello, I'm Den. Uh, well, what I mean to say is... What Den means to say is that he's the boss and I help him a lot. I'm Dart. I'll be waiting. No. No. Ah. Ah. Oh. Percy! Good to see you! Thomas said I could ease my axles here. Until you came back, of course. Percy wished, and Percy whooshed. He was upset. Where have you been, Percy? Percy looked at Thomas. His best friend didn't feel like his best friend anymore. I spent the night with my friends. We're your friends. No, I was with my new friends, the Diesels. The Diesels? They think I'm special. Diesel 10 said so. Diesel 10? They watched Flynn and Bell. Kevin was worried. Heaving hooks! I've never seen a fire before! It's scary! But Flynn and Bell weren't scared. Stay back! Stay calm! There's no cause for alarm! They faced the fire. Flynn had his new hose. It was long. It was strong. Water flowed fast. It flew into the fire. The flames hissed and fizzed. They flickered and flashed. The smoke whirled and twirled as Flynn and Bell fought the fire. We're winning! I told you Flynn was fast and fearless. Uh, oh, my wheels are all wobbly. My axles are aching. Ferdinand puffed and panted. He was worried. You should slow down, Gordon! I don't listen to funny, frumpy engines. Then there was trouble. Gordon hit a bump in the track. The flathead jumped, and with a splash and a crash, <laughs> warbling whistles. <laughs> <laughs> Her whistle warbled, and she twittered and tweeted. There he is! Edward the Hero! Edward was puzzled. Next, Edward puffed past Charlie. The children were laughing at Edward's joke. There he is! Edward the Hero! I don't feel like a hero. Because you are a kind, funny, and gentle engine. That's why you are a hero. Just being you. Come on, old pal. We have work to do. Hooray for Edward! Rescue engine to the ready. James roared and raced down the track. He hit Gordon's buffer with a biff and a bash and a terrible smash. 
the logging locos biffed and bashed. They smashed and crashed. They giggled and jiggled as the logs <laughs> leapt and flew. Then, Hero whistled loudly. Please, Thomas, I would like this to stop. My hat! My hat! My hat! All the hats were hatless. We'll help each other out. So Henry buffered up behind Ari and Bert and puffed proudly on. Hooray for Henry! Shoo, both of you. Sorry, Victor. Thomas raced in reverse, right into Charlie. And Charlie's front wheels flipped off the track. Bump my buffers! Right in front of Kevin. Kevin bashed and crashed into the crate. It's time for, for the, the party. party! Edward, Percy, and Stanley whooped and weeped. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, this is the best winter holiday party of all! On to the Shake Shake Bridge. Then there was trouble. The bridge made the flatbed jiggle and joggle. And Bertie the bus rolled off. Thomas didn't know was now working. With a bang and a clang, it stuck tight to Thomas. Butch struggled and strained. Then he sighed. Biff Bash Bus! Kevin bumped into the flatbed with a clang and a bang. The flatbed, Kevin biffed the oil drum. It skidded into Spencer. Rattle my rods! An oil drum whizzed and whirled towards Vicky and covered him in gloopy goo. Percy was waiting. I'll chuff back soon, Percy! Snow splattered and scattered all over Percy. I'll wish back soon! Once again, snow splattered and scattered all over Percy. Percy the Snow Engine! Percy beamed from buffer to buffer. Hooray for Percy! Hooray for Thomas! Even Sir Topham Hatt chuckled. Thomas jumped, and he heard their trees fall with a terrible thump to the tracks. Stop, Gordon! Thomas reversed. With a crunch, he rolled over his tree. Diesel reversed. With a scrunch, he rolled over his tree. Stop! Stop! Reneus tried to stop. The bridge is falling down! But his heavy cars pushed him on. Right onto the damaged bridge. Reneus pumped his pistons as never before. He had to puff across before the bridge collapsed. Reneus was almost knocked off the rails. At last, Reneus rolled to a stop, right by Scarloe. Someone could help me. M m maybe? Please? Ow. <laughs> Hold on tight! Clattering <laughs> carriages! Slow down, Thomas! Slow down, slow down! The signal is red! I always slow down when I come to a red signal. Only because we tell you to. Only because we keep you on track. <laughs> worry too much. Around the bend came a small red car on the tracks. He was carrying Sir Topham Hat. Thomas was surprised. Winston, please stop! Then he hurried away.
Charlie again. Uh, hurry, Luke. But Thomas didn't want to lose him this time. <gasps> I'm sorry, Luke. Oh, my. Hello, Luke. You're in a hurry. <gasps> oh, help. Luke, over here! Oh. Rocky, watch out! Stop, Scarloey! Whoa! Sorry, Scarloey. Oh, that was close. Fenders and fireboxes. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Take me off first. Please. Please. Tengo un problema. I called to the crew, but they didn't understand me. So they did nothing to help me. A crane lifted the excited green engine first. He swayed on the end of the hook and bumped into me. I could do nothing. There were no chains to stop me. Splash! I slid into the sea. Luckily, I landed on a jetty. When I was finally lifted out, I was in a terrible mess. He's... What did you do? It's all right, Thomas. Oh, ah! Cinders and ashes. Owen was surprised. Steady. Next stop, you're too heavy. <laughs> Meet the yellow engine. Ta -da! Bring Bring us. Us. It's me. <laughs> Suddenly, he jumped and shuddered. He jittered and jogged. Smoke swirled and curled, and bits of metal, blocks of wood, and blobs of oil flew everywhere. That's not meant to happen. That's right. Oh. The logging locos squealed and squeaked. They weren't happy at all. <laughs> Hello, Henry. Shall I tell you a joke? Henry stopped suddenly. Henry was surprised. Who said that? <laughs> I did. What sort of ball doesn't bounce? Uh, Henry stuttered. Uh, Henry stammered. Um, He'd never met a talking snowman before. I don't know. A snowball. <laughs> the snowman laughed. Henry wobbled. Oh, me. Oh, my. A laughing snowman! And Henry steamed quickly away. Charlie was puzzled. Just as the camera flashed. Bye, Percy! Flash! Bang! Whoa! Percy was so surprised, he bashed and crashed into a siding and straight into a heap of coal. Flatten my funnel. Just as the camera went flash. Bye, James! Flash! Bang! Bob! James was so surprised, he hit the buffers, and his wheels bounced off the track. Rattle my rods! Bust my buffers, Thomas! Steady on! The photographer was so surprised, he dropped his camera. Oh, no! Thomas gasped. Bubbling boilers! The front cover was a picture of Thomas and Rocky rescuing Percy. Thomas puffed to Percy. You and me, Percy. That's the best photograph of all. Cinders and ashes. He crashed and he bashed straight into the back of Whiff's garbage train. 
The garbage cars clattered and battered right off the rails. Stinky garbage and oily old engine parts toppled and tumbled over the tracks. There are the crows! I must hoot and toot! Thomas blew his whistle loudly. <coughs> With a flap and a squawk, the crows flew away. Thomas! Why do you have to hoot and toot when I'm having a snooze? Sorry, Dan. I'm chasing crows for Farmer McCall. Thomas blew his whistle loudly. Fizzling fireboxes! And with a flap and a squawk, the crows flew away. Mm. Sorry, Gordon. Mavis was surprised. She biffed and bashed into the cars. Trembling tracks! Ow! And with a flap and a squawk, the crows flew away. Gordon was far too busy being snooty to see the freight car on the tracks in front of him. Gordon hit the freight car with a smash and a bash. With a clang and a clatter, Gordon's buffer crashed onto the tracks. Bust my buffers! Hunking horns, Gordon. You're Gordon the Diesel now. <laughs> Gordon felt terrible. Then there was trouble. Percy was at the top of Gordon's hill. He stopped, but the calliope didn't. The coupling had snapped. Bust my buffers! The calliope rattled and raced down the hill. With a crash and a bash, it smashed off the track. <laughs> oh, no. Steam shot into the organ. The calliope let out a rash and a pop and a wheeze. <laughs> but then, with a cough and a splutter, it began to play. Percy beamed from buffer to buffer, steam into the calliope. It was the sweetest sound on Sodor. We present the sounds of Sodor. With a huff and a puff, Thomas blew his whistle as loud as he could. Rosie was surprised. Her cars bumped and jumped into each other. Soot went everywhere. That was a fun surprise, Thomas. You made me laugh. Thomas puffed quickly out. Boom! Gordon didn't laugh. But Whiff was surprised. Whiff's cars bashed and crashed. Garbage flew everywhere. <laughs> that was a fun surprise, Thomas. You made me laugh. No! Gordon didn't laugh, but Cranky was surprised. Hoist my hook! Who's making that noise? Cranky dropped the crates of fireworks, and with a crash and a bang, the crates broke open, and fireworks fizzed and whizzed everywhere. By buffers. Harold looks wonderful. <laughs> and Gordon laughed the biggest laugh Thomas had ever heard. Did I surprise you, Gordon? <laughs> yes, Thomas. Yes, you did. Thomas's boiler bubbled. He was so happy. And down the muddy, wet track. Soon, James was no longer James the Bright Red Engine. He was James the Muddy Messy One. But James didn't mind. James beamed from buffer to buffer. So, a very muddy James had his photograph taken with Katie the Muddy Sheepdog, Farmer McColl, Sir Topham Hat, and lots of muddy sheep.
James had never been happier to be the dirtiest engine on Sodor. Duncan's rods are rattling. He needs Victor. No, Reneus. We mustn't bother Victor, Victor with little, little things. things. Back when Edward first arrived on Sodor. Every year, on his birthday, Sir Topham Hatt and Edward would visit all of the stations on the railway and have a slice of birthday cake with the passengers. Always in his favourite carriage, the oldest carriage on Sodor. Even older than Edward. He loved riding in that carriage. I remember his smile. It would light up the sky. With a crash and a bang, Thomas bumped into Winston. <gasps> Luckily, no one was hurt. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, sir! Sir Topham Hatt smiled. What a marvelous surprise! Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Winston. I can see you have both had a really useful day. And that made Thomas and Winston happier than ever. Oh, this is the finest tree of all. Thank you. You're welcome. Any time. That's right. When Toby and Reneus puffed into the Blue Mountain Quarry, all the little engines were busy heaving and hauling. Reneus hooted happily. Happy winter holidays! The little engines stopped. They saw the Christmas tree. What a magnificent tree! What a wonderful winter holiday surprise! <laughs>